Joshua chapter 7, verse 1 to 5, verse 10 to 12, and verse 20 to 21. Ungodliness engenders failure and defeat. Whether it be for a nation or for an individual only. In Job 34 verse 29. When he gave it quietness, quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hide his face, who then can behold him? Whether it be done against a nation or against a man only. So everything that God says applies to both nations and individuals. The same way sin brought defeat to Israel, sin will engender defeat and failure in anyone's life. That footballer was granted. You need your legs to be a footballer. Now your legs is under arrest of sin. And when he turned to the Lord, he restored his legs. May this season mark the end of every form of defeat in anyone's life. Yeah. We saw the end of Absalom, who rose in rebellion against his father. He won the heart of everybody but didn't win the heart of God. Everybody went after him, including the counselors of his father. But if God be not for you, no one is for you. God killed him. You are riding under an oak tree and then your heir was able to hang your weight. Somebody must have tied it up. An angel came and tied it. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So God just executed his judgment on him. And Absalom was gone. If not, you don't need to throw a sword on him. He was hanging in the midst of the air. How long can you do that? No. They didn't need to kill him. God already killed him. He hung him on the branch of a tree. Sin engenders defeat and failure. Somebody's story is changing this morning. How many believe that God is no respect of persons? It's time to turn. You want to see triumph after triumph? It's time to turn your back on everything that displaces God. It's time to turn your back on everything that displaces God. Number two, sins, tears, shame, and reproach. We all saw the story of Samson in Judges chapter 16, verse 1 to 3, verse 3 to 13, and 16 to 21. How are the mighty fallen and the weapon of war lost? This one man army was slain on the laps of a woman.
They plucked out his two eyes and asked him to entertain them. There was no treatment given. They took knife and ripped his eyes out. Die if you will. The Walmart army became a victim on the laps of a woman. Destiny crashed. Ended up with shame and reproach. It was the fear and the dread of the Philistines. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to anyone. Proverbs 14 34. All we are trying to do is to itemize the cost of ungodliness so as to stir up everybody's spirit to go for godliness. Number three, ungodliness tears fear and dread. Adam, Adam, where are you? I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid. I was afraid. So the first effect of sin was fear. I was afraid. The righteous are as bold as a lion, but the wicked man runs when no one pursues him. Proverbs 28 and verse 1. Fear. And nothing torments in the race of life like fear. Fear is a tormentor. Fear entraps destiny. To go, not to go, to move, not to move, to move, not to move. In Proverbs 29 and verse 25, the fear of man brings a snare. But whosoever put his trust in the Lord shall be saved. Number four, ungodliness blocks access to favor. Ungodliness blocks access to favor. Daniel purpose in his heart not to defy himself. And now the Lord has brought Daniel into favor. Now God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. A purpose in verse 8 was brought into favor in verse 9. How can I do this wicked thing and sin against God? Genesis 39 verse 9. And the Lord brought Joseph into favor with his master, the Egyptian. And he was a prosperous man in the house of his master. He was a prosperous man. He enjoyed favor as a slave 